Well, good morning. We got a project a little chilly out uh, coming from Tennessee, but on the 1974 Ford Bronco, I replaced the oil pan and I noticed that I have a small drip. And after looking at it, I think it's coming from the dipstick. And uh, so what I need to do is drain the oil out of the oil pan, take the dipstick out, see if I uh, need to put some sealant on it, figure out why it's, it's dripping. But uh, certainly when you do this project, you will need, uh, I'll, I'll take and show you um, the type of wrench that you want to use. And of course, it's, you can buy these in different sets, flare nuts, transmission lines, uh, AC coolant lines, anywhere where you really need the, the very boxed in type in to keep from stripping that nut off. On this Bronco as well, I've got some other projects. It's, it, it seemed like it's a constant uh, work in progress, but it has to do with the EFI system. And try to show you the, uh, the, the, the fuel command center. And we're gonna talk about the fuel command center when you go with, with the, the Phytec system. But uh, th that'll be another video, other topic. But um, right now what we're going to do is go ahead, get the oil pan, drain the oil, work on the dipstick. This is a 302, 1974. Yes, I replaced the oil pan gasket but it's a very small drip. And just looking at the oil pan today, it really looks like it's, it's seeping out of the dipstick tube hole, the fitting there. And this is not the push-in type. It's, it's there, there's a flare nut on it that holds it in place. So we'll get under the vehicle, start taking a look at this. Okay, under the 1974 Ford Bronco 302, I did put a two and a half inch lift kit on this. Gives you more accessibility as crawling underneath it, everything else. The drain plug is a three quarter inch. And the flare nut on the dipstick, what you see in the picture, that is a five eighths. I believe that's right. Well, it, it might be 11 sixties. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it's it's a five eighths. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain the oil. But what I was looking at is the way that it's dripping right down through here, coming around, then you can see a drip right there forming and then it blows back on the transmission now with this vehicle what you're seeing the transmission is an aode i put it in there with the adapter kit original transfer case but i had to buy the electronics brain box if you will to make it all work with this vehicle and i really like that uh, the gear ratio and the extra overdrive in it for running up and down the highways. Kind of windy, hope I don't make too big of a mess. The vehicle is not due for an oil change because I just recently uh, put the new oil pan gasket on and I, I went with the more expensive rubber one instead of the cork one. But I'll just give this a minute and uh, go ahead and put the, the drain plug right back in it. That should be good enough. On the drain plug, you may be able to see the little tab. It's the original drain plug, but I have taken, um, replaced that gasket to help it seal better. It seemed like it was a rubber one on there that was dry rotted, cracked, and everything else. And I thought, being as I'm going to replace the gasket, let's go ahead and fix it all up like new. Once again, three quarter inch wrench. 
I like the box in so I don't strip out the the drain plug. You don't need to tighten them real tight anyway. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go to the top side. I did not pull out the dipstick itself. And just pull it out and get it out of the way. Now on these, they have a tab that goes to your exhaust manifold. This being the original dipstick, that broke off when I, uh, I had to replace the exhaust manifold on this side. For some reason, it, it cracked right in half right between the first two and last two exhaust ports. There's what the end of this looks like. And it could be because of the uh, paint I put on there. What I'm thinking is I'll clean this up with a wire brush, put some RTV black on there, and then tighten it back down and maybe some uh, pipe thread tape. Okay, I put some pipe thread tape on there, some RTV black, which is uh, uh, oil sensor safe. Busy day on the farm. That was the old Ford pickup. Snug it up tight. Now I'm gonna let it sit for a while and uh, that way the R the RTV black it, it give it time to uh, cure before I put oil back into the system. <laughs> 